Good morning from Pokhara, Nepal. A very early good morning because it's 5.30 a.m. and the reason I'm up nice and early is I'm gonna go on a wee adventure up to here, the Annapurna mountain range. We're gonna go to the base camp and we're gonna do it the easy way with a helicopter. It's like a one hour flight or so. And the reason I'm doing this, I didn't plan to do anything like this, but the opportunity came up. I got an invite from this man right here. Alexander, <laughs> he uh, is a photography artist and he's going up there to take some shots. He's booked the whole chopper and invited me to come along. So how could I say no to that? How could I say no to that? And this is the helicopter operator here. Prabhu Helicopter Limited. So Alexander is very well prepared. Me, on the other hand, woefully unprepared. Other than this jacket, the only thing I brought on this trip was t-shirts. So I've got another couple of t-shirts in my bag in case I need them. But uh, it is gonna be a wee bit cold, but it's a very short trip. We're gonna be there for half an hour landing. We're gonna be circling around for an hour or so before we land. Um, if it's cold, it's cold. I'll just have to put up with it for a couple of hours. No worries. So I checked out some of your work on your website last night. Yeah. Yeah, I had a little look. So you do, you take a photograph and then you transform it with your, with painting over it, right? Yes, that's yeah. it. And are you doing that digitally or with a, like oil? No, or? It's, it's oil, yeah. yeah. It's oil paintings. So sometimes I, I just make a photo and, and, and make a projection on a paint canvas. Ah, and okay. Then, then I overpaint it. Yeah. Then I make a photo of that and then I put the photo and the oil painting together and that's it. Yeah, I've never seen anything like that. Is, no, is this your unique style or? I think so. Okay, you invented the style. <laughs> it okay. will be anybody, but I don't know. Uh, okay, yeah. It's stunning work. Yeah. Okay, Alexander's just gave me this. It feels like nothing. He says it's nothing, but it's a lot. He says if I wear it under this, then uh, it's going to make a big difference with the temperature. This, I don't know what material this is. Do you know the material, what this is? This feels like plastic. This feels I don't like, know, yeah. It's very I, thin. I have no idea, oh, it's like a it's, windbreaker, right? It's going to break the wind. It's a very light, but it's, yeah. It's okay, good. I trust you. You're uh, experienced yeah. in this. This is not his first uh, helicopter photography flight, so he knows what he's doing. I want to put this on. Okay, so we just passed security in the airport this is my boarding pass the these people don't even know who i am i didn't get my passport details or anything it's booked under alexander's name and i'm just a plus one. Oh wow how safe would you feel riding in one of those hello sir hello how are you from uh, YouTube. Yes, I'm from YouTube. Yes, uh, You're from Nepal? Yeah, I Okay. <laughs> good, bro, good. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you, bro. Okay, this is the main office. The hangar for the helicopters. And this, I believe, is what we're going to be flying in. I don't know if this is the exact vehicle or not. Oh, we're not coming in here, apparently. Where are we going? Okay, the waiting room is it? Okay, good. Fantastic. Hello, sir. Hi, Hi, Bill. Bill. Yes, pleased to meet you. I watch all of your videos. Oh, thank you. Now you're in my video. <laughs> so you're a pilot? No, no, I'm engineer. Engineer. Ah, okay. So how are, what's the condition of the helicopter? It's good. good. It's okay, good. that's what I like to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Not too good today, no, I'm very bad. No, yeah. no. So speaking it's about for a speaking about something. Oh, speaking about for rumbling noise. <laughs> but we'll be all right. Yeah, but yeah, we'll be all right. Let's give it a go. Oh, you have to check our weights. Okay. Let's see. Let's see how I'm doing with all the weight. 86 and a half. Oh, I lost a couple of, lost a couple of kilos. I wonder why that was. In, bed, my, yeah. in my bed, sick for a week in Kathmandu. Oh, he is the same way as me with all his camera gear and everything. <laughs> so 
this is one of these ultra lights or micro lights whatever they're called landing these things do not look safe to me at all tiny little things oh yeah tea please yeah tea please yeah sugar please thank you Yeah, the, it's covered now. The mountain's completely covered. Yeah, so guys, we had a perfect opportunity about an hour and a half ago. That's how long we've been waiting. But they told us there was some kind of emergency or something, so we couldn't go yet. And now, yeah, that's the Annapurna range there. Just covered in this black cloud. It looks like it's getting worse. So, very unfortunate. That one for me? Okay, good. So, we've been here almost two hours now and we're still waiting around. Apparently whatever emergency it was that stopped us from going at the time that we were supposed to has now finished, but I don't know what we're waiting around for now. Do you think they're waiting, do you think they're also waiting for the clouds to break up as well before they take us or? I don't know. I think they're just, I don't know, they're just... I, I only know that we are more important than an emergency. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, what, <laughs> what emergency could it possibly be? Yeah, don't know what they're doing. They're playing Candy Crush on, on their phones or something. Once they complete level 100, then we're going. I think that's it. Just wait till, wait for them to complete their, uh, their levels. Yeah, so this helicopter is from another company and that's the people who were there when we arrived and they were waiting at the same time as us so they've already been up there had their half an hour up there and flew back while we're still waiting to take off and the clouds just seem to get worse and worse this is not looking good so these two guys have just approached me and offered me a free flight. Yeah. So you guys watch my videos, right? Yes. So they very kindly offered me a free flight and ultralight right there. So yeah. after we do this helicopter trip, I will join these guys. Yeah. This is the pilot here. Yeah. What's your name, sir? I'm Captain Sudis Vestia. You're Captain? Yes, Sudis yeah. Vestia. Uh, I fly since 2014. Okay, 2014 yeah, you've been a pilot. Yeah, yeah, for these. Okay, so I'm in safe hands. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, very safe. Okay, good. Okay, good. The pilot is oh. to make one flight with this. Okay, yeah. yeah, after we go to Mardi, yeah. I think uh, we will be going maybe two hours or something, I don't know. Mardi Bay Road, yeah. Oh, yeah, he will tell you. I think, yeah, it's more than one hour ground time here. It's, it's the pilot of the big plane, he wants to give you a free flight. Oh, really? Okay. What's that? Another free flight? Oh, okay, it's the, the Buddha Air flight. The Buddha Air pilot there, he just recognized me from the... Hi, hi, how's it going? Yeah, okay. Sure, sure, sure thing. I'll take the flight. Okay, where are we going? Tibet. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Buddha Air. That's how I'm getting back to Kathmandu in a few days. Today is beautiful. Huh? Today is beautiful. For yes. the view, yeah? Also the, the... In the Maldives, yeah. I fly over yes. Maldives here. Also now? Yeah. Yeah, but you flew over like an hour ago or something before the clouds. You fly came over. with these also. Uh, to how far do you fly with these? Mardi only tickets, man. You can fly. You also fly to the mountains here. Really? Well, you can't uh, land, right? You can only circle them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, how would you we land? Need, we need there? traffic. You have to wait 15 minutes. 15 minutes, we will go, yeah. We have a tracker inside now, the helicopter. We yeah, can track it where it is okay. right now. Ah, okay. Okay. Ah, okay, so we're waiting for the helicopter to it's come. Very good. He says, what's good? It's only here, Cloudy, but yeah, what we want to see really? is good. Yeah. Ah, because you've just been up there, right? And you're ultra light. We put 30 minutes ago. 30 minutes ago. Is ah, there okay. any place where I can smoke a cigarette? Yeah. So, yes. yeah. For we're waiting for, for our, our helicopter to come and land. I think they don't have extra pilots for these ones. So you have two more helicopters, but no pilots for uh, these ones, right? right? No, no pilots here. Ah, okay. We have in so we're waiting for the helicopter to come and land, maybe 15 minutes. Okay, 
so our chopper has arrived. It's about 8 a.m. and we're finally gonna be on our way. So you're gonna take the seat beside the pilot? No, you take it. Oh really? Oh, but they put off the door and I'm I'm open. Ah, back. so you're gonna be in the back. Uh, you can go both sides to take photos. Yeah. Okay. So it's I, open, you know. Ah, oh, it's all open. Ah, yes, okay. I can jump when it when it crashes. I jump oh, yeah, and you die. Oh yeah, easy. You've heard your parachute. It's a parachute. Parachute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You ever be discussing when I go in that ultra light? Who's gonna get my stuff? That's in the hotel and stuff. He wants me to me, sign it off. Also, and he oh. wants the followers, he wants all you guys as well. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to be sitting in the front next to the, the pilot. Here we go. Okay, thank you, brother. thank you. Okay. So, let's play one in. Oh, wow. Incredible. Number one safety. Okay, safety number right. one. On. And this, okay. Right, so you can talk with him. Okay, you can talk with him and all. Okay, got some headphones and a microphone so we can all talk to each other. Can talk to the pilot and my friend. Okay, here we go. Awesome. Whoa. Guys, check this out. Look, right here, it's like a glass bubble that we're in right now. So we're getting a full panoramic view. 360 up and down, it's incredible. What an incredible way to see this beautiful city of Pokhara. Wow. And we're traveling at some speed, guys. It's only been a minute since takeoff and we're already passing over the outskirts of Pokhara. And now we're at these little villages that are in the hilltops around here. These nice, serene, tranquil little villages that would be absolutely incredible to live in. Can you imagine, guys? Can you imagine? This is your house up here. And this is the view you wake up to each morning. And my photographer friend hanging out the window. There's no door or glass there. He is literally hanging out to get some of those incredible shots of this beautiful country. And we are now in a proper remote area. But check it out, guys. There's still lots of little buildings that I believe are guest houses. Aye, you can see there a beaten path. That must be one of the popular trekking trails. Look at that, it goes all along the ridge of that mountain. Amazing. Can you imagine, guys? Can you imagine trekking that? Having the view of each side of this lush green mountain and the view ahead of us of the Annapurna mountain range. Incredible. So apparently we're not actually going to the Annapurna base camp like I thought. We're actually going to a place called Murdi, another high point. And the reason that we're going there is that's where we're going to get the best view of Machu Picchu, the very spiritual mountain, the one that nobody's allowed to step foot on. That's what Alexander really wants to take photographs of for his art. So. That is where we're going, after we have a wee circle around these parts for a while, waiting for the fog to disappear. The place we're trying to go to is actually covered in thick, thick fog right now. You can see ahead of us, the thick cloud of fog, that is where we're trying to go to. So, until that clears, we're just gonna circle around and enjoy the scenic view of this Annapurna mountain range, which is absolutely stunning. I've never seen anything like this in my life up close oh wow there's civilization here guys look i think it's a guest house on this snow-capped mountain almost at the peak incredible i don't even see a hiking trail how do people even get to that look how remote we are guys look how remote there's nothing there's nothing around except for that guest house signifying civilization wow 
Incredible. Incredible, this place. Wow, that is not something I expected to see up here. A massive waterfall descending into a black hole. Incredible, incredible nature. Wow. And this is Annapurna 1, the 10th highest mountain in the world at 8,092 metres above sea level and also one of the most difficult mountains in the world to climb. This has, sadly, a very high fatality rate. So our pilot has been in communication with the fox at Murday High Point and apparently the fog has cleared up there so we are on our way there right now It's dangerous, you see that rotor right there? That is dangerous. So it looks like... Uh, what's happening? Our helicopter are taking some other guys. Huh? It's leaving with ours, it's taking some other people back. We go, we walk back. Oh, we walk back. <laughs> Only four or five days, I think. So, we're, I don't know what's happening with our helicopter. It seems to be leaving with ours and taking other people away. Oh, some horses. That's how we were getting back down. Horse ride, oh. Beautiful. Hey. So what's the deal with the helicopter? They're taking other people on a ride or? Another helicopter's come to pick us I, up. I, I have no idea. <laughs> we have to walk back, but it's cool. <laughs> Only four or five days, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh my word. So you're trying to get the view of uh, Machu Pucha. Machu Pucha. Machu yeah. Pucha. So where is that? On this side? That's always in the fuck. That's Machu it. Pucha is always in the fuck, the mountain. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's it ahead of us, covered in uh, fog. Wow, there's a whole little community up here. People farming sheep and these are like guest house slash restaurants. You can stay overnight. Looks like these are rooms right here. McDonald's is over there. I'm oh yeah. Over there. Oh, I would love that. When you just love if you seen those golden arches. A wee McDonald's. Aye. So these are rooms where people are staying overnight. People who hiked up. People who did a proper trek, who didn't cheat and take the easy route with a helicopter. Aye. Here is Machu Picchu. Yeah. And the holy mountain. And that's all Annapurna here. Yeah. So this holy mountain, nobody's allowed to step foot on it. There's no trekking permits, nothing. Nobody's allowed. It's yeah, sacred nothing, in yeah. Buddhism, I think. Yeah. I think you and, can go up here. Oh, you can get close to it. You can go on this yeah. this little mountain here. Well, little mountain. It's <laughs> everything's huge. But you can get up this bit and get a view. So you plan on doing that, going all the way up there? You can hike from here, right? To yeah. to there and getting a good view. But just now it's just covered in fog and it doesn't look like it's moving. There's no wind or anything. 
Seems static. It's so serene. So quiet. No noise apart from the sound of the sheep. Amazing. So how were your shots from the helicopter? Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. I mean, it's, it, there's no point to, to make the best photo now because there are already photos millions. So there's no point yeah, already for me made. To, to make another one, which is good. But yeah. to make a photo and after the, the process afterwards, that's amazing. Just to, to, to paint over the photo. Yeah. This oil with, which needs months to dry and, and you just have time and think about it and make things afterwards with time and so, make artwork from the photos. So, so are you already cool. thinking about the art that you're going to be yeah, making sure. from those yes. photos Colors you just take? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. And the good thing is here, photographing is always, it depends on so many things like yeah. the weather. <laughs> you see it, it's, yeah, stuff you can't control so at you all. You can control, but, yeah. but you can control everything afterwards and that's cool. Yeah, good. Yeah, there's all these guest houses, but I don't see any guests. I think yeah, it's, it's just us. Yeah, it's extremely us. quiet. I thought it's, yeah. it's, it's a lot, but I don't know. I think tourism is still low. They're, this country is quite slow to open back up after COVID. Well, this whole community will depend on tourism, right? This is... Sure, yeah, yeah. What sure. else is going on here apart from farming some sheep? Maybe those trackers who are very long trekking, yeah. they look after a while like like the sheep. Like, you know? <laughs> Maybe that's all. Yeah. That's know. what that's what a week's worth yeah. of trekking and up to. What is she doing? Huh? Is she, he's, oh, he's, 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 you know, you don't want to talk about it. <laughs> yeah. he, he, his wife is down in the oh. village, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what. He's that's doing. A, it's a second best, second best option. <laughs> Second best in Himalaya. <laughs> Third best is a donkey. Uh, oh God! <laughs> oh, he's giving them their vaccines. Yeah, uh, vaccine, yeah. Yeah, uh, vaccine. And more guest houses here. There must be at least a dozen guest houses here up at the high camp. Check it out. Loads of guest houses, but no guests. I think there's no guests at all. I haven't seen anybody. So you wonder what they're doing to make money up here. Apart from the sheep farming, there doesn't seem to be any anything else going on apart from these guest houses. So this whole community must depend on trekkers. And I don't see any. Hotel Namaste. 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 Hotel Namaste. Namaste. That's the name of your hotel. Can I use a bathroom by any chance? Yes, sure. There's the bathroom. Oh, thank you so much. Yes. Cheers. Okay. Guys, I'm not going to vlog me going to the bathroom, but I'll, I'll see you in a minute. What condition is it in? No, not too bad. Ah, nice and fresh. The Hotel Namaste. I think that's a wee restaurant that they have in there. If I could get a wee cup of tea or something like that. Uh, doesn't seem to be anybody here. Oh, oh hello. Hello. Can I get some tea? Yeah. Some uh, chai? Tea? Uh, tea? Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you. Black tea, please. Black tea? Yes, thank oh, you, brother. Okay. okay. I'm gonna get a wee tea. What a wee view of Annapurna. Okay, brilliant. Hot cup of tea. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Black tea. Black tea, very nice. Has sugar or no? Sugar, no. No sugar, no. The sugar is there? Sugar, yeah. Okay, thank you, brother. Thank Welcome. you so much. Thank you. What is your name, sir? My name is Rakis. Rakis? Yeah. Okay, you live here in the high camp? Yeah. Okay, this is a very nice place, right? Very quiet. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. Thank you, brother, for the tea. Okay. Hi brother, namaste. Mm. Lovely. You never get a bad tea 
in these parts in Nepal. Nepal is very close to Darjeeling in India. It's famous for tea. So this whole region, the tea is good. The tea is good. Mm. Hello. Hello. The tea was very nice. Very nice tea. Yeah. yeah so how much rupees? 150. 150 rupees. Okay. Yeah. I'll give you... See, you have change. Okay. Thank you, brother. Have a nice day. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Brother, can I have a look in the rooms? I just want to look. Can I look in one room to see what it's like? Uh, maybe you should ask him. Uh, oh, you, are, you, are you a guest here? Yeah, I'm ah, a guest. Okay, here. I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> okay, so he's also a guest. Are oh, you going to charge your phone? Yeah. Yeah, they, they have like a service for charging mobiles, 200 rupees. Okay. Me. Yes. Uh, he, uh, he says okay. It's okay. You can see the room. Ah, okay. I'm not. I'm not interested in taking it. I just want to have a look to see. Uh... They're locked. Oh, it's not locked. Yeah. The this one's got the padlock off it. Are you staying here? Oh yes, in the, the third one. The third one. Ah, okay. Let's have a look. Ah, okay. So this is what the rooms are like. There's four beds, in here. Nothing else. Just basically the beds, right? Yes. And. This is uh, a yeah, wooden ceiling. It feels very cold in there, but it's summertime, so uh, yeah, you slept overnight here, yes, exactly. and it it was comfortable, cold at night time, or yes, it was comfortable, comfortable, yeah. They provide us with these blankets, yeah, uh, okay, and they make us warm, it's yeah, cozy, super cozy inside. And where are you taking shower? Uh, we're not taking, you're not taking, yeah, we're really going down to low camp, you're going down to the low camp, yes, and then yeah. what they have. Facilities uh, there? Yes. Ah, okay. So how many days have you been trekking to get here? Three days. So only three days? Yes, from three Pokhara? Days. Or? Uh, from Pokhara it's two days only. Only two days trekking? Yes, yes, yes. What, like five, six hours per day? Uh, yes. No, ah. 10 hours per day. Nine 10 hours per day, 9 hours. Nine to 10 hours per day. Ah, okay. So people have told me it's like a four, five day thing. So that's the slow people, the people yes. who are doing two, three hours a day. Yeah. We don't have time, so we squeeze the timelines. Ah, okay. So you did it in two days. Yes. He's Incredible. The planner. He's uh, the planner of uh, he time planned time. it all out. Ah, okay. Yeah. So you're going to stay, you stayed here overnight and today you're trekking back? Yeah, we will reach Pokhara today. You'll reach Pokhara today? How? In one day? Yeah, it's, oh, it's all downhill. It's down, it's downhill. Ah, so we won't get tired. About eight hours, eight hours going downhill. Yeah, so we'll have breakfast here yeah. at high camp. Mm -hmm. We'll have lunch at uh, low camp. Yeah. We'll have dinner at Pokhara. Wow, you've got it all planned out. The planner, <laughs> the planning man. What's your name, sir? My name is Ritesh Rista. Okay, my name is Dale. Pleased okay. to meet you. Hi. Okay, so this is the man you want to go trekking with. He will plan it all out. Your friend is very lucky to have you. Thank you so the much. The planner. Okay. Okay. So, you, what's your plan? You're oh, I just came here by helicopter. So okay. we just stopped, and then we're having a look around. My friend is a photographer, so he's taking some shots. Okay. And meanwhile, I'm just okay. having a wonder, having a cup of tea and, okay. and nice. stuff. By the way, where from? Scotland. Scotland. Oh. Yeah. And you? So very cold place, right? Oh, no. <laughs> this is more cold. <laughs> yeah. But today it's okay. okay. This summertime. It's like this is a good time of year for visiting. Okay. Um, are you? And you're from? I'm from Kathmandu, Nepal only. Ah, okay, so you just took a short trip over from uh, Kathmandu yeah, to come here. We, yeah. like, we came to Pokhara, uh -huh. and then we started our trek from Pokhara itself. No, oh, it's good. That... Yeah. Actually, we don't have holidays. We got a job to do. We so get... that's why you're doing it in a short time? Yeah, yeah. Two days up and one day down? We get maximum three or four days uh, leave. Yeah. So in that time, we have to manage... You have to days. squeeze yeah, it in. Squeeze the timeline. Ah, okay. Yeah. By the way, you know CPA, Certified Public Accountant? CPA. Yeah, yeah, and that's what you are. You're we both are CPA. Ah, okay, you both are CPAs yeah. in Kathmandu. Ah, okay. <laughs> we work yeah. with EY India, ENY, Ernst and Young, if you know. Ernst and Young, yeah, yeah. that's the huge um, finance company. Yeah, yeah, we work with that company. Uh, okay, oh, they have an office in Kathmandu. No, we we are based on Delhi. Yeah. But we work work from in work from home mode. Oh, we work that's remotely, good. Remotely, remotely yeah. from Kathmandu. Well, you can't really work remotely from here because the not, not good <laughs> enough internet, connection. right? Yeah. Had we receive internet connection and proper electricity here? Yeah, then you we could. Would be happy yeah, you could just stay here now. for like one month, yes, right? Yes. Yeah. Not one month, one year. <laughs> yeah, maybe eventually they will have. Yeah. But they they say they have Wi-Fi, right? But it's very slow, right? They don't have Wi-Fi. Yeah. Yeah. Really, I'm pretty sure they they had something written about Wi-Fi, in there. 
Yeah, it says Wi-Fi charge something. They say that they've got Wi-Fi. Well, these guys say they don't. Yeah, Wi-Fi charge 250 rupees for for internet. Yeah, you have internet here, yes? Wi-Fi. Internet, yeah. Here, ah, okay, 250 rupees. 250 rupees. Yeah, he yeah. says they have Wi Fi here. Yeah. He winked, he winked. So it means they don't really have it, or it's it's a slow connection, or something like that. Yeah, he just winked his eyes. Yeah, I seen him, he winked at you. What was that all about? They don't have Wi Fi. They don't have Wi Fi, ah, okay. So what happens when you pay, when you pay the 250, what do you get? Just have there in. Notice board, but they don't have the service here. Ah, okay, maybe they will get it. Yeah, and then you can come and work remotely from yes. from here. So you will go back to Pokhara by helicopter or by working? Walking? Uh, I think by helicopter, but the helicopter that took us here took other people back. So I don't know what's happening now, if we're getting another helicopter or not. <laughs> maybe I'll have to walk with you back the eight hour we'll downhill. We'll yeah. Walk with you as well. Yeah. Would you like to have a tea with us? Uh, I just finished my tea there. Okay, yeah. See. I need to see my friend to see what time I'm going back because I have no idea. I don't want him to leave without me. Okay. And have a little wonder. Oh, this one also advertising Wi Fi Hotel Snowland and Spa. So it's a spa. Can you get like a massage and stuff like that here? Maybe you can. Somebody shouting at me. I think maybe that is Alex. Is I think that's Alex in the red. Run! You want Run! back? Do you want me to come back? Run! I think he wants me to come back. Are oh, you saying run? He's saying run. <laughs> okay. I think he's telling me to run. I don't know if he's joking with me. He's a bit of a prankster, a bit of a jokester, so I could easily run all the way back and then he's just like, only joking. I don't know. Or he could be serious and I could have to, I have to run back. See you guys. See you. Okay. He's saying take no video, run. I think he's joking. But then he himself seems to be in a hurry. Oh. Okay guys, I don't want to be stranded up here. Let's make our way back. I didn't really know how much time I had to be exploring. Oh, God. Oh, at this altitude. Oh. Usually I'm not out of breath so quickly, but it's the altitude. No, he is running. He is. Oh, oh, oh. Guys, oh. it's the altitude. I just lost. Oh. Oh, I can't even. I can't even speak. Oh, oh my God. Oh. 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 <laughs> this side, okay. I'm out of breath <laughs> because very high. Okay, nice sheep. Okay, this way, yeah. Okay, let's make the walk. Up here. Okay. Oh. 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 I'm dying. Your man is dying here. Oh. 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 Ah. Oh. Ah. 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 Oh yeah, our helicopter is there. Which way do I go? Ah. 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 Ah.
stop video. Uh, you run and stop video. At first, Otherwise, I thought you were not At first, I thought you were joking, right? No, it's not a joke. When yeah. did you hear the helicopter? I did hear the helicopter. That's the thing. And then I started running. I was out of breath, like in one minute. Okay. Thank you very much for Thank the you. for the ride, All Alexander. Best. See you. So okay, much. so he's flying to Kathmandu now. And I also want to photo with you. Oh, you want to follow with me? Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. I want the experience up there. It was good, but I nearly got left behind. Yeah. They nearly left me behind because I was in the tea house just chatting with people and yeah. stuff, and then they had to go. And Alexander yeah. was at the helicopter and he's saying, "Run, run, run." run. Yeah. So. He was a bit angry at first, but we made friends again. He's happy. Uh, yeah, I just didn't realize how short of time. We're only going to be up there for like 30 minutes max. So now more people are going. Yeah, there's more are going, yeah. Right, I'll go uh, speak to these people. Yeah. Over here. Okay, thanks, bro. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, thanks. It was awesome. Thanks. Cheers. Okay, I'm gonna see. Looks like they have customers now. Let's see if there's a space for me on one of these things. Hi, Ultralight. How's it going? Yeah, it was good. They nearly left me behind, though. That was it. I went wandering in the guest houses and stuff, and then they almost left without me. Uh -huh. <laughs> I had to run, I had to run. Okay, so we are going to make 15 minute flight up to this. Uh, okay, so these are doing 15 minute flights yeah. and then I also will do 15 minute yeah. flight. Yeah. And where will we go? Are we going to go over Fiwa Lake? Or? Fiwa Lake is Stupa, Sarangut. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, but we'll see the Buddhist Stupa. Yeah, 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 yeah which yeah, we'll, is... Uh, where is it from this direction? Uh, yeah, this side. Yeah, this side, yeah. Where the, the Shiva statue as well. Yeah. yeah. You can see. Ah, uh, okay, good. Excellent. And you're going to be my pilot or...? No, we will fly for you. Okay. okay. Your good name, sir? Sir. Welcome, sir. Okay, thank, thank you. How many how many years has he been a pilot? He's been uh, three years. Three years? Oh, I want the guy who's been eight years. <laughs> yeah. so he's our pilot. Then we'll uh, who's the most experienced? He's the most experienced. Oh, he's the most oh, experienced. Yeah, yeah, I want this guy to take me. <laughs> okay, I'm sure, I'm sure you will be good. So, jacket. Okay, hang on. A North Face jacket. This is to keep me warm, right? Because it's not like the helicopter, they don't have any kind of walls. It's just all open, so you get all the all the wind and everything. The wind chill. Okay. Looking good? Yes. Yeah, Thank you. <laughs> well, this is my color, blue. It's a nice color. What do you think, guys? This is your man's color right here. Good. Okay, so we're just waiting for the previous flights to land. And then I'll be going. I think that is them landing right there. What's the helmet for? In case we crash, this will save yes, me, right? For safety. Safety. Is this okay, sir? Is it keep loose? Yeah, a little bit loose. So come here one time. Okay, so I'm getting a hat as well to stop uh, to stop it being loose. Okay, so it will fit better. Okay, it's like when you have shoes that are too big, you can wear like two or three pairs of socks, and then it fits. So this okay? Yeah, that's good. It's nice and snug. Okay. 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 So come. Thank you. What did you do, Damian? 
Right. Okay, good. Okay. Okay. Good. No. okay. So, so I'm going on the back. First stand, so yeah. First stand on here. Yeah. Okay. First stand and sit from the back. First seat. Oh yeah, first sit. Yeah. Okay. Now the what? One leg here. Where do my legs go? One leg here. One leg like here. Yes. And one leg like here. Yes. Okay. There we go. Nice and snug. So there will be enough room for the for the pilot here. So you have. Okay. Have a step flight into your flight. Thank you, brother. Thank you. The boats are there. Okay, see you guys. See you. Here we go. Here is Fiwa Lake. I was staying around this area at the lakeside before and had the beautiful view off the lake from a hotel terrace. But check this view out. You can see the whole of the lake from up here. And it is absolutely incredible. This white thing here is the World Peace Pagoda. It's a Buddhist stupa that I'm planning on hiking to at some point in the next few days. And here, ahead of us, is the Shiva statue. Aye, not far from the Buddhist stupa, there is the Hindu god, Lord Shiva, standing proudly there. I will make sure to pay him a visit when I do my hike around this area. And right in front of us is Sarankot the beautiful village where I took the cable car up and paraglided down in a previous vlog and below us is the farmland where I landed that there is the viewpoint Sarangot viewpoint tower that I went up and got the panoramic view of Pokhara and this beautiful mountain range but I'm getting an even better view from up here, aren't I? It's even more beautiful. Check this out, guys. Check out the scenery. Wow. Heading back to the airport now, that's it ahead of us, the landing strip there. Awesome. That was fun. How was the flight, sir? Beautiful. We got really close to the Shiva statue and the Buddha st uh, stupa. Wow. It was very nice. Thank you. That was awesome. You get to see the whole of Pokhara in just 15 minutes. You can explore the whole city in 15 minutes. Incredible. Wow. That guy was your friend or what? Yeah, he's my friend, but today he's taking Buddha Air to Kathmandu. Ah. Like now, I'm staying in. This is your certificate. Oh, I get a certificate yeah. as well. This says that I did it, that I survived. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, this guys. The, That's brilliant. Well, I'm near the way. Bye. Okay, you can come with us. I can walk with them. Yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you, brother. Yeah, sure. See you. Okay. So, you didn't want me to walk back on my own because it might be a problem with uh, security, airport security or something. So, 
I walk back with this family. Like their adopted son. Hey guys. Hi. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from India. Bangladesh or from India. Oh, from India. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah. You are from? I'm from Scotland. Oh, ah, okay. yeah. I'm, I'm hanging, hanging there. It's been Nevis. You've been to Ben Nevis? Oh, yeah. wow. Amazing. Wow, it's a beautiful place, isn't it, Ben Nevis? Yeah. Wow. You went to the top? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's impressive. That's a difficult one. Uh, how, how long did it take you to go to the top? Uh, my daughter had been to Scotland for the winery. All the wineries. Oh, she went to all the wineries and the whiskey places as well. The whiskey. All the whiskey places. Distillery, yeah. This yeah, is a... to learn all how to mix up and how to... Oh, how to make the whiskey, yeah. Yeah, whiskey. yeah we have many famous whiskey distilleries yeah. there. I had a lot of them she from... went for that course. Oh, she did a course. All oh, right. The peak of the Bin Nevis. The peak of the Ben Nevis, that is you there, wow. You arrived at night time? Yes, night, oh, okay. 11, 11. Oh, wow. 11. 11. Bin Nevis, Snowdon, Scapel Pike. Snowdon you did as well, but Scapel Pike, uh, 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 we did uh, 36 hours. Wow. I'm planning to go there. Next year. You're planning to go there? Ah, okay, yeah. it's a good time. Now we don't have any restrictions about COVID yeah, or yeah, anything. Yeah, no, my uh, cousin's uh, son stays there. He's married over us. Ah, so you can stay with him? Yeah. No. Ah, okay, good. No, no need to stay, spend on hotels and everything. It's no, good. we don't mind spending on hotels. Yeah. Well, it's still better if you have family there you can stay with. Yes. It's more, uh, it's more comfortable. But that will be for eight days. The rest of the time we want to go around. So ah, okay, yeah, yourself from place to place, staying in bed and breakfast, nice, uh, like, there's so many, like, converted castles. They have, like, an old castle, but they make it into bed and breakfast, like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, there's so many places like that. We are planning yeah, yeah. for that only. Yeah, uh, yeah, it will be good. but go in the summertime only. <laughs> yeah, don't go there in the winter time. You want the nice weather. Next so you year can... we are planning, next summer. Next summer, yeah, perfect. It's perfect. Scotland like Indian Kashmir. Kashmir. Indian, 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 Kashmir, Kashmir, do you know Kashmir? Kashmir, ah, Kashmir, yeah, yeah, it's like Kashmir, just like, yeah. Just like Scotland. Yeah, the same uh, landscape. Yeah, yeah. And also there's a place in India that people call the Scotland of the East. It's called the uh, Shillong. Yeah. You know about the Shillong? <laughs> yeah, people call that the Scotland of the East. That's what they call it. I don't know if it's the same or not, but the uh, Shillong, yeah. Okay, see you guys. See you. Nice to meet you. Okay, this is where uh, I went through to collect my baggage there when I arrived in Pokhara the last time. All right, I'm gonna walk outside. There's a airport taxi bit there, but I always find it best at airports to walk outside and get a taxi, you get a better rate. Hi brother, how are you? Taxi man. You're taxi man? Oh, yeah, taxi oh, man. for inside or from outside? Outside. Outside, ah, okay, so you give a better rate, better ah, price. Very good. Okay. I've gone to the pavilion, the farm. Sorry? The pavilion, the farm. farm you know this one, no? Do you have a, yeah, I'll show you where it is. It's near uh, Fustracola. 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 You know this? Hey, what the hell is that? Yeah, far, yeah, far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, farm, okay. You farm, what the hell is that? 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 Uh, the pavilion, Himalaya farm. Oh, yeah. Down, down up there, huh? Yeah. Pushri Hola. Pushri Hola. Yeah. Pushri Hola. That one belongs to... Yeah. Uh, what, what is the name this the, the pavilion Himalayas. Yeah, yeah. There's I two know. hotels, one lakeside and one the farm. My oh, one yeah. is the farm. I know, I know. You know, you huh? want to go farm? Yeah, I want yeah, to go farm. Oh, okay, Kidna rupees. Yeah. Two hundred, two thousand. No, not two. I've been before. I paid one thousand from uh -huh. uh, from Lakeside. I paid one thousand uh -huh. last time. This time, yeah. fuel is very expensive here. One eighty. No, I mean yesterday. Yesterday I did for <laughs> one thousand. Yesterday I didn't change in one day. No, I need to go for one thousand, bro. But it's okay. If you don't want to go, it's okay. I will. I will yeah. walk to time and find another one. But uh, it's okay. 
Okay, Only guys. Less price. Have a nice. No, less price is one thousand, really, really. <laughs> because I do before for one thousand, so I know yeah. that I can go for one thousand. Camel. Set. I'm camel. No, I'm not camel. No, sorry. Okay, guys. Okay. See you. Sure. Uh, you pay me fifteen hundred only, okay? 50, only fifteen hundred. Yeah. Okay. okay. Off road. Yeah. Gasoline is off no here. Off road. One eighty eight gas. One per per okay. per meter. Since I like you, I will pay one thousand five hundred. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's go. See you guys. See you. Bye. Okay. Yes, That's your one? Oh, this one here. Oh, Manchester United fan. Yeah. Got a Manchester United yeah. fan right here in Nepal. <laughs> Manchester United is a popular team in Nepal. Many yeah. Nepalis support, support yeah? yeah? Okay, good. Let's do it friendly style, jump in the front. Who's your favorite player for Manchester United? Your favorite uh, player? Before Ro is uh, Rooney, yeah? Oh, Rooney before yeah. was your favorite player, yeah. huh? <laughs> What about now? Ronaldo? Yeah, this time is Ronaldo. Ronaldo is your favorite now, okay. Good. Rooney, Ronaldo, Messi. Wow. Look at this. What a beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful country this is. Your country is very beautiful. Amazing. Yeah, beautiful. yeah, look at this landscape right here. Incredible. Wow. Oh yeah, I passed us yesterday, a little restaurant lodge. I might uh I might in an hour or two head back out and go to that for lunch. Looks nice. Hello. Yeah, friendly, friendly woman in there. <laughs> I might go there for lunch. For yeah. my lunch, I might go there to that restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. Push to the collar. Yeah. Push to the collar. Push to the It's the name for the village or the the, the river. Uh, river. River. Oh, river. Right. Push to the collar is the river. Yeah. yeah. Little river there. Hello. Thank you, brother. I'll see you. Come. Hi, brother. Okay, I'm home. Back at the farm. Oh. Oh. I tell you what guys, that looks good to me right there. The swimming pool, again with nobody in it. Oh yeah, the weather is glorious here. Absolutely glorious, perfect for a wee dip. And then I might head out to that restaurant, the one where you know, the nice wee lady has a guest house and there doesn't seem to be any guests, so I'll go and give her some business. Hi. Oh. Hi. Big Hugh Hefner. Big Hugh Hefner. Gone for a swim. Hi. And again, I get it to myself. It looks like somebody has been here, but nobody is here. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, guys. Oh, yeah. Nice and refreshing. Oh, yes. And you deserve, you deserve a good dip in the pool after putting in all that effort to get up a mountain and back down before midday. That was some effort, I tell you. So, time to relax a bit, get freshened up, and then we'll go out for lunch to that wee restaurant, the wee wifey, to see what she's got. Oh, yes. Hello, namaste. namaste, namaste. I came to eat lunch, food. Yeah, I came to eat. Yeah, you have food, Nepali food. Okay, good. What type of food you need? Ah, uh, okay, thank you. 
Ah, uh, you have dalbat. You have a menu or chicken? Yeah, dalbat and chicken as well. Together would be good. Okay. Yeah, that would be good. Bravo. Everyone here eating dalbat. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. popular food. Yes. Ah, okay, good. Uh, Bravo. Dalbat and chicken gravy. Okay, so dalbat and chicken gravy. Good. How many people? Uh, only me. I'm alone. Uh, and you? You're living here or traveler? Or? I, I will go. I will go. Ah, uh, you're just passing through? Yeah. Yeah. Fast food. Ah. Uh, fast food. You're fast food? Finished. Ah, uh, okay. Where, where are you uh, living? You, you're staying yeah, yeah, where? Pokhara. Pokhara. Ah, uh, okay. Near the lakeside? Ratnachok. Ratnachok. Ah, uh, okay. And you're just passing through? Ah, uh, okay. He also traveling, you know. Traveling around, ah. Yeah, uh, yeah. But he is Nepali or? Nepali, yeah. Nepali. Ah, uh, okay. Good. You travel in your own country is good. Yeah, it's yeah. a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, some people in their country, they never travel their own country, you know? Uh, uh, yeah. But here I see many in the palace today, up uh, in the trekking, I uh, seen the, um, some people from Kathmandu, they we, come to Pokhara. We want to travel European country, you know, somewhere, but, yeah. you know, the um, government Ex didn't give visa, you know? Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah it's that's hard, why yeah. You, that's why we cannot travel. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. yeah, for Europe. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, they make it difficult, uh, don't they? Yeah. 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 And so, this, uh, you have set this up as, as your home and guest house as well? Uh, uh, this is uh, not a guest house, but uh, like homestay, you know? Homestay, yeah. ah, okay, so there are... Uh, we have uh, five, six uh, rooms also. Ah, okay, can I have a look? Room? Can uh, I have sure, a look at sure, the rooms sure, to sure. see what they're like? Okay, so... It's like family home and then yeah. guest rooms as well, yeah. And a nice bar as well. <laughs> Where are you from, sir? I'm from Scotland. Scotland. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice yeah, I'm staying just now at the farm, at the pavilion. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just passing. I wanted to check this place out. How old is this place? Uh, I think uh, I make this, you know, whole thing. So I started from two years, you know. Uh, you built it? Yeah. You did all the building? <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, only uh, two years ago? Yeah. Ah, okay, so it's still quite new. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ah, okay. So nice. Sofa, bed. Oh, and they all have bathrooms. Yes. Everyone has a bathroom. Ah, okay. So a little shower. Yeah. And toilet there. Mm -hmm. A nice, comfortable bed and sofa. And, uh, this, ah, window, nice. this, this window looking, you know, the oh, inside, to the very beautiful. Straight to the river. See? Ah. Yeah. Does this ever fill up with water to the top? When we get, uh, you know, the monsoon. Yeah, it will fill day. up. Okay. Mm. It's nice, right? Yeah, good, very good. He, he built this all himself. He built all this. Very nice. If I did, already very good. Yeah. Yeah. And how much do you charge for your rooms per night? Only 1500 Nepali. Only 1500 Only Nepali? 15, oh, yeah. that's very, very, not a cheap. bargain. That's, yeah, so, yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah, man. That's a really good price. You could come here and pay, yeah. that's like uh, 13 US dollars yeah. or something. You could come and stay a long time and relax yeah. here easily. Mm. Yeah, very nice. It's almost, you know, 10, 12 dollars like that. Yeah, it's good. The, the, you see the uh, you know the cottage over there yeah somewhere somewhere mm -hmm. like that yeah that one is the you know um, pavilion resort pavilion yeah, yeah that's pavilion. where I'm staying I'm staying there uh, you stay yeah, there I'm staying oh, there very yeah nice, very I nice. came to eat lunch at your place okay, rather than there okay, thank good decision you, thank right you, thank you. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Because every time I'm coming past this, I see this. I think uh -huh. it, lo it looks interesting uh -huh. because I could see the back of this. Uh -huh. So I wanted to check your place out because okay. it looks really nice. Okay. Yeah. And there's a... Uh, they also have a little farm. They're farming chickens here. And a swing. Very nice. Oh, you brought me some fruit. Sure. Oh, very nice. Thank you. Water, mineral water or soft water? Uh, you have like Fanta or something like that? Yes. Okay, one Fanta will be good, thank you. Okay, you brought me a little papaya and vegetable salad. Papaya and cucumber salad. Mm. 
Oh, this my dull back. Yes. Right here. Fantastic. Thank you so much. And a little chicken gravy on the side. So this is Nepali khana. This is the popular food in Nepal, right? The yeah. dal bat. It's like the staple food. It's like when the Pali people are hungry, this is what they will go for to make them feel satisfied. Dal bat. Yeah. Okay. And I'm also adding some chicken. The chicken <laughs> come from here, from your garden. This chicken. Yeah, sure. Yes, uh, sister, yeah. sister for one of these birds <laughs> down here. I'm gonna eat one of their, mm -hmm. one of these chicken sisters. Fantastic. Get all that dal one there. Let it soak into the rice and then also the chicken. There we go. All one there. Okay, I'll just mix all this in. And I see the chicken is on the bone, so best way to eat it is with your hands, much easier than with a fork. And I've got a little hand wash basin right there, so I'm going to wash my hands. Okay then, I'm gonna get stuck into this dal bat. So I'm gonna pick up a handful of the rice that's soaked with his dal. Mmm. Good. Yeah, just, just your typical dal, really. Just your typical dal. Nice and light and nice and healthy. Mmm. Oh, you give me tissues? Because I'm getting in with my hands. <laughs> okay, thank you. Brought me tissues. Okay, so like you said, the chicken is on the bone. So much easier to just grab the piece with the bone and then just rip it off with your teeth like this. Mmm. Like that, you see? Oh. Very mild gravy. So there's no... There's no chilli spice to this at all, but they've given me the chilli spice on the side if I want it. I think I'm just going to eat it like this. This feels nice and... Nice and light, nice and mild. Mmm. Mmm. Nice succulent chunks of garden raised chicken. Fully organic. And delicious. Oh. Mmm. That gravy is so tasty. Mm. As you can see there, it's a, a very tomatoey, a tomatoey gravy. So you get that a bit of sweetness with it. Mm. Mm. I do love a tomato-based gravy. Mm. And I noticed they've given me chopsticks as well as the fork and spoon. I don't know what I'm supposed to use these for. Like, what could I possibly? Or maybe for the for the salad, for the cucumber and papaya salad, I could possibly eat that with the chopsticks. I guess. I don't know if that's a. The Nepalis normally eat things with chopsticks. I, I don't think so. But I don't know. You guys tell me. Hmm. Hmm. The spit of the bone, especially. It's like a joint. You need to like get in there all around with your teeth to scrape off every bit of meat. Impossible if you're using a fork or spoon. Mm. Very nice. Chicken gravy, very tasty. Yeah, the chicken gravy is so nice. Mm. Oh, you using finger? Yeah, no problem for me. I did before. Am I doing well like this? Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> the Pali style? Yes, yes. Oh, good. Uh, you love it? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, uh, the gravy. I like um, it's a tomato -y gravy. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like uh -huh. I like gravies with tomato. Uh -huh. It's always tasty uh -huh. and okay. sweet. Okay, thank you very much. Mm. Uh, you need anything more? No, this is good. I will feel good after uh -huh. this, yeah, uh -huh. after this dalbat and chicken.
Oh no, I'm feeling satisfied, feeling good. Oh, thank yeah. you, thank you. Thank you. Hi, <sighs> brother. Many local people coming to stop and drink and relax in yeah. your place. Ah, <laughs> yeah. oh, that's good. Uh, Kitna rupees, uh, how much? Yeah, only 400, sir. Only 400, yeah. okay. I'll give you. Uh, 500. 450. Okay, 450. Okay, yeah. just keep the change, brother. Okay, thank no you, problem. Thank okay, you, see you thank next you. time, guys. All right, all right. Thank you. Oh, that was lovely. And lovely to see what they're doing with this place, their home. That the man has built these rooms right here. What is it? Five or six guest rooms. And just turned his home, had turned his garden into a restaurant slash hotel. That's how enterprising these Nepalis are. The man designed, built it all himself and now runs it. It's good to see. You should always support businesses like that. So you should. Which is fine for me to say as I stroll back to my $200 a night room in the luxury Pavilions Hotel. But to be fair, the guy who owns the Pavilions, Douglas McLacken, I think his name is, he for decades has been doing a lot of charity work in Nepal. So a lot of the money he's making from this hotel is getting put right back into the community, children's charities and all that. So also worth supporting. Anyway, guys, that's me for this adventure. And I will see you on the next one.